Hello, Spirit Family, and welcome back. For those who are new, this is Spiritual Findings with the Gypsy Soul. I am your Gypsy, Vera Lynn. And today we're going to be doing a general reading for my Sagittarius for July 2019. Now, when I say general reading, guys, this is going to cover your love, your career, your soul story, what's going on for July, all right? I hope you guys like my setup here. I am off grid, no electricity, no running water, no cell phone service. Oh, I just love it. I actually have my shoes off. I am grounding with mother nature. You guys can hear the birds chirping, the mountain breeze. It is just beautiful. I hope you guys get a get a chance to really kind of dive into nature, okay? This summer, whether it's just taking a hike or just going for a day trip to the lake, whatever it might be, all right, guys? All right. So, for July, we do have a really, really busy month, guys. Okay, it's not just for you guys, it's for everybody. We have two eclipses, all right, in July and one retrograde, all right? On July 2nd, we have a solar eclipse in Cancer. Now, with a solar eclipse, which is like your outer personality, what other people see, and it being in Cancer, this is definitely going to have a focus on your family life, okay? Maybe reconnecting with family, old friends. I know with people who are in the States, it's around 4th of July. Maybe you guys want to get, kind of get yourself out there for them family barbecues, okay? Get yourself rekindled. Don't be a shut-in, all right? I know sometimes getting yourself up and going to the family barbecues is a lot harder, but once you come home, you, you usually always had a good time, okay? For most. <laughs> These readings are vague. <laughs> all right, for July 16th, that's our lunar eclipse, guys. So our inner emotions, our inner beliefs, okay? Not necessarily what people see from us, but what we see within ourselves. Now, the eclipse is happening in Capricorn. Going to bring out some change, guys, because now you're going to be focused on your responsibilities and your priorities. Are you taking the right steps in life to see the action and the goals that you want to manifest? All right, so that's a lunar eclipse in Capricorn on the 16th. I'm going to bring it back a little bit to July 7th. This is when the retrograde happens, so a little bit before the lunar eclipse. On July 7th, we have Mercury turns retrograde in Leo, okay? That only lasts for a little bit. I always feel that these retrogrades in Mercury, because they do happen so often, they're very quick because Mercury is a very quick moving planet. It's just kind of to make sure that you rest and restore and don't make any big decisions and kind of reevaluate things in your life. And I think with this retrograde being tied in with the solar and the lunar eclipses, it's definitely going to shake things up a little bit for July. But I see it being very positive because like I always say in my videos, guys, chaos brings change. Sometimes when you're comfortable somewhere, you know, the fire kind of dies with your passions and you kind of just, you know, are just, you know, comfortable where you are. But sometimes it takes something to change majorly for you to get back on track with your passions and really seize your goals okay all right but mercury does turn direct on the 31st guys and there is a new moon in leo same day all right there is actually more going on in july but uh this video would be a lot longer these videos have already been really quite long but i can't go over it. if you have any questions about what i just went over comment below all right Okay, guys, so let's get to shuffling. I did want to mention real quick, I'll get a little bit more in detail with it. I have a celebration at Spiritual Findings with the Gypsy Souls one year anniversary, and I am giving away a healer's box, which it has a salt lamp, sage, its own tarot deck, which is the Rider weight. It's got tapestry, gemstones, a whole bunch of good stuff. I'll, tell, I'll have a picture of it at the end of this video, but you guys can enter to win it. I literally only have like 10, 15 people on my list to win it. All you have to do is subscribe, share, ring the notification bell, comment below. All the rules are down below in the description box or you can catch it after the video. But it is really fun. And if you guys are interested in our live streams, I host live streams from time to time and I do free readings. Okay, I also do more in-depth readings too on those live streams, but it's really fun. So you have to ring that notification bell because it is first come, first serve for those free readings. All right, guys. 
the list can get chaotic fast, okay? So if you see that I went live, make sure you jump on, get your name on the list, okay? It's a lot of fun, all right? It's very... Some people kind of just like hang on the chat lines just to kind of see what's going on and feel the energy and learn a little bit from it because it is a lot of fun. We are a spirit family here for a reason, guys. Shout out to all my Sagittarius who are all, have all been on the live stream. You know, Ken, shout out to Ken. I know you're a big supporter of mine. I love seeing you pop on the live streams. All right, guys. We have one flying out here. All right, we have the Ten of Pentacles. And I feel like you guys get this card a lot. Um, it might be because you guys are very family oriented or have a large community behind you. We also have the Magician card, which is telling me that you guys have the experiences from either, you know, things that went wrong in the past, trauma, bad relationships, you know, career choices that just weren't good for you. Those experiences, you're going to use them now for the future, okay? So sometimes those dark times in life, actually you need it, okay? It might have, have might not seem it now if you're currently going through one or, you know, I know a lot of you guys, if it's a year or two later, you can look back and relate and be like, you know, well, if that didn't happen, then this wouldn't have happened and, you know, it ended, ended up where I am happier. Those experiences, guys, you're gonna use those for your future, all right? We all do. Things mold us and we grow, we learn, all right? All right, they're just flying out here. Let's see what we got. Oh my, all right. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Guys, you have a really, really nice spread here. I'm gonna show all these cards because they are very quite pleasant. As you can see here with the 10 of pentacles, you know, wealth is coming into play, perhaps an inheritance for some of you guys. There's also a need to use your instincts because you have the dogs that are making a presence in this card, which is telling you that you have to go with your gut instincts because we all know that dogs play on a different sense than we do, okay? So it's time to kind of dive into your intuition, okay, guys? This could also re resemble a wedding, a wedding celebration celebration a graduation something that's going on within the community get into it have fun could be that barbecue all right could you see that that's your aunt and your uncle and your grandpa and the, you know i don't know but it does resemble to me a community aspect for you guys okay you have the magician card as you can see he has the wand he has the sword he has the cup he has the pentacle he has all of the suits from the deck which is saying that he has all the experiences that he needs to manifest you know whatever his goals his destination his career his love life whatever it is the the infinity sign is making an appearance in this card okay guys use it use that infinite knowledge okay to your advantage it takes time to manifest it doesn't happen in the night you have the ace of pentacles all right this is a very lucky card to have in the deck, okay? You can see that the terrain is just lushful and beautiful, okay? The pentacles, this is an opportunity to perhaps get a new career path, to get a promotion, to just find a new way of income, okay? You can see it's literally just an opportunity. So please don't don't leave that behind, my Sagittarius, okay? Whatever it might be, if it's a handout, just take it with pride, all in good karma, okay? Right? And that cycle will keep going. All right. All right, I'm going to feel, I feel from the angels. I feel one from the angels. I'm out here, you know, on top of a mountain. The fairies represent an earth element. I really feel like the fairies is just speaking out to me, okay? <clears throat> All right. But before I do so, about that healer's box, guys. Like I said, it has a salt lamp, incense, sage, gemstones, your own tarot deck. I only have a couple people on the list. All you have to do is subscribe, share, <laughs> you know, ring that notification bell. And more importantly, you know, please don't forget, okay, to comment below, all right, the name that you want me to put on the piece of paper. To do the drawing with okay i can see if you guys shared and stuff like that so you know all in good karma we'll do we'll do the honesty system right <laughs> all right 
yeah I'm manifesting my goal of 8,000 subscribers by August 30 first okay it's a minimum minimum eight thousand. if i get more than that that's i'm happy with that but i am just so blessed and happy and excited to actually see how far spiritual findings has come in just a little over a year it amazes me i, I would have never thought it, we, we would be this far so I, I i know you guys like the giveaways last year i got in contact with a lot of subscribers on a more personal level i know the live streams have been wonderful for that it's a lot of fun but you know i hope to uh connect with somebody over this giveaway okay because i gave away um tarot decks uh tarot deck two tarot decks last season and it's just uh it's just nice to see people on their journey, you know, using divination tools or diving into their spiritual side. I love it. Comment below. I love. I love to hear from you guys. Okay, where you're, where you're at, where you're going. You know, if you want to find out your moon sign, just put your full birthday below. I'll follow up with your moon sign. Okay. All right. Flower power. Spend time with flowers and flower essence to increase your personal healing power okay so i'm out in here in nature i'm on top of this mountain the wildflowers are everywhere i have my feet on just some luscious moss here i really feel connected feel very peaceful you know if you guys look into earthing earthing is a real thing guys taking off your shoes and letting the natural healing powers of mother nature help you it's just it's a real thing guys it makes a big difference okay we, if you think about it we wear these rubber shoes all over this earth and we're kind of deflecting you know the electric currents that mother nature puts off to heal us okay it's not a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo it's real guys look it up flower power though when you eat and spend time in nature when you eat things locally that are fresh just picked or you just spend time in nature with your shoes off grounding it is something magical and it is very healing and it motivates you it can gives you energy that you haven't had before so maybe connecting with mother nature appreciating pre appreciating the local plants and taking notice to what's around you is something that you need to do this summer okay all right my sagittarius all right this sums up our reading. You guys have a wonderful reading. Maybe, you know, the magician side and the ace of pentacles is going to come into play once you spend time with nature and really manifest what you want. Go out and meditate in nature, whatever it might be. I actually have a lovely video about making your own sudge sticks, sage sticks. If you want to go ahead and watch it, I've been bringing the spiritual study side into the channel more than other than just tarot. I will always remain loyal to my tarot readings though but i have done a lot of spiritual studies that i'm slowly starting to bring into the channel so you guys can go ahead and check that out i've went around to things that i have grown personally my sage my rose i had uh, lavender all kinds of things that i wrapped into my own sage stick you know let it dry for a few weeks and you have something you know very personal that connects you it, you know it really gets you you know aware you know and and kind of respecting all the things that actually grow around you the different types of pine the different types of wildflowers whatever it might be you know there's a lot of berries obviously make sure to make sure that they're edible but there's a lot of different berries in certain areas that you could eat like up here in the mountains it's huckleberries they are so good and when you eat something with a strong life force like that it's amazing and it's very refreshing all right guys this sums us up I hope to see you for a live stream you know get yourself a free reading I'd love to hear where you're from you know I hope to see you guys on the raffle for the healers box okay all right guys thanks for tuning in this is spiritual findings with the gypsy soul I am your gypsy Vera Lynn and you guys have a beautiful July